This is a Ford F-250 pickup truck and tag-along trailer. It was made by First Gear and it's in 150th scale. Now this truck was kind of a surprise when it came out. So, in 150th scale there haven't been a whole lot of pickup trucks that have been made. Um, Sword, a couple years ago, announced that they were going to make the Super Duty series in, in 150th scale and they were going to have accessories and there's going to be all sorts of colors and configurations and everything and everybody was pretty excited. But then they run into a bunch of production problems, and it took years for these trucks to actually get made. And by the time they actually came out, I don't remember how close it was to the end of that generation's life, but it felt like it was a month before they went to the new series of Super Duties, the sword trucks came out. And don't get me wrong, the sword trucks are nice, but for the price you pay, I don't think they're that great it, it's hard to justify spending that much money on on a pickup truck and like they're nice but they're not that nice now the first gear truck is not that different from the sword now obviously this is the latest series of super duty i don't know if they make any 350s but i think they're all just 250s um they're they're pretty decent you look underneath and it's got like the, the bare minimum of detail. There's no steering. The doors don't open up, but the windows are down, so you can kind of get a fair look inside the cab there. The hood does open up, and you can see some things inside there. In all fairness, you pop the hood on one of these trucks, you can barely tell that there's a motor even in there. There's so much going on. Um, the tailgate does come down. Which is nice. You got the little hitch back there. Now, Sword did make, you know, toolboxes and light bars and all kinds of stuff for their pickup trucks. First Gear is probably not going to make any of that. I'd imagine if you really wanted to, you could get the Sword accessories to fit in this truck. But First Gear is probably not going to make anything like that. Now, as far as the tag along trailer goes, it's a nice trailer. It's definitely bare, like bare basic, bare minimum. Uh, the jack doesn't move. There's nothing underneath. The only thing that does move is the trailer ramps. And it is kind of cool. The The ramps are adjustable for, you know, however wide uh, the piece of equipment is that you're putting on the trailer. You can adjust it. So that's kind of neat. The ramps do fold down. And it looks pretty good. But it is really nice to have a decent uh, pickup truck and a tag-along trailer to just have on the shelf it's really cool there's so much uh compact equipment that is perfect for this setup and it's really nice to be able to just have something to go with that i mean at any point in the day there's only a million of these trucks going down the road uh just like this so it's pretty cool to have that on the shelf and like i said it's it's a better value i think than the sword trucks i i love the the tag along combination i think it's pretty cool it certainly fits right in with everything else and overall i'm pretty happy with it so that's about all i got for this if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask if there's anything you'd like to see let me know i might just have it uh if you want to see what else i got please subscribe to maryland construction diecast and thanks for watching